Hey, what is good? What is good? What is good? Ladies and gentlemen, of course, you know who it is. Uh, coming back at you guys with another video today. I'm mad at what the lighting looks like. Please disregard it. We are just trying to... Maybe, maybe I should get outside. Oh, okay. Maybe that'll make me look a little better. Yeah, maybe. No, really. Let me see. Ah. There we go, gotta get out of the sun. See, now my face looking all bright. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here outside right now. I, hold on, back, can I get it? There we go, that's it. This store behind me right here. See it, that great building right there. Um, What pisses me off about my life is I've been back home for a year now, okay? Been back home for a year. And only recently did I find out that in my home city, we have a, our very own Philippine cuisine store-ish. And I'm like, damn, I've been here the whole time and I didn't even know that stuff was behind me. You know, I mean, you know, I never really traveled this road a lot. So I had to really go find it. <laughs> you know, I had to go on a scavenger hunt for it. But luckily guys, we're here, man, we made it. And we're about to go check it out, man. We're gonna see what they got up in there. Maybe you can help me out. Maybe you can't. We'll see what we got going on, man. I'll just take a picture and, you know, maybe we'll get to meet the owners and see what life is like out there, all right? It's going. You heard right, ladies and gentlemen. Philippine store and cuisine. So I'm about to go check it out and see what they got inside, man. Maybe they got something good. We'll find out. Well, check it out, man. I can't be super surprised at this. All right, they got your typical noodles, the puta, the babinka, and all of this stuff is crazy. Oh my god. Here in the what's weird is in the Philippines this is one whole aisle by itself. You know, my boy HT did a video about, you know, the top ramen having its own aisle. You know, but they got their 60 mix. You know, I'm kind of in a corner guy, so pardon me if I don't get it all in there, but yeah, man, they got everything. This is kind of what the Philippines is all about. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's trippy. Yep. I like this. I was going to you. You know, Phil Stop. Yeah, that's okay. Mmm. They have an online site called Phil Stop. Yeah. And I was about to order this stuff online. Oh, okay. And why? Nine years. Nine years. <laughs> How long have you been here? Nine years. Nine years. Yes. In Fayetteville, North Carolina. I've been in North Carolina since '76. '76. Yes. Do you actually like North Carolina? Graduate Nako, Business Administration, uh, University of Mindanao in uh, Davao City. Mm. So, ano yan? Sinigang. Uh, Sinigang. Pork adobo. Adobo. Dinining. Pancet, no? Pancet, uh. pork apetada, uh. chicken curry, uh. chicken caldereta, uh -uh. fried chicken, and Beef steak and beef michado. Michado. And of course, rice. You can't, yes, you cannot have Filipino <laughs> meals without yeah. rice. Okay, I see you, see you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Let me step back. So, guys, this is their, you know. They have the cakes and the clovis. Everything I need. So for you guys, this right here is champarado. This is the chocolate rice that is very, very popular in the Philippines. Super popular. And then of course, the arroz caldo mix, which is like rice and egg and a whole bunch of stuff. It's really good. I haven't tried it in the package. You know, I'm used to the original because I lived there forever. But you know, they just have their own little rack with the San Mig coffee. And of course, you can't live life without the beef. All right guys, aside from my super cool backpack, let me show you guys what I bought. It only cost me 250. You know, I gave them $3 so that they can keep the change and whatnot. So I just got me these Ding Dong snack mix things these are pretty dope man they're like some it's like it's like crunchy peanut stuff i'll eat it later i don't think i'm gonna do a taste test video on this because i already know what it tastes like and it won't do you any good <laughs> if, I, if i already know that i like it doing a taste test video will probably be stupid for me and also i got one of my favorite favorite filipino snacks 
This is paired with beer in the Philippines most often. Your crackling salt and vinegar shiznits. So yeah, man, that's what I got. You know, they have a food in there. I showed you guys earlier. Maybe one day I'll try to come by and taste the food. I won't do like a review on it on the spot because if I don't like it, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But yeah, man, I spent $2.50. That's probably a hell of an overprice. You know, I didn't ask questions. You know, I was just trying to support the business, support the cause. And that's fine for me. All right, so this is what I got, ladies and gentlemen. My little ding dong snack mix and my little ribbed cracklings with the old fashioned salt and vinegar. Most of my Filipino people. Love to eat that with beer and also the peanuts, man. It's almost like every Filipino snack goes good with beer. I'm not going to drink any beer with my snacks. I'm just going to probably pop open a soda knowing I don't need them. And that's it. But again, guys, Mike is out. Deuces. Oh, yeah, guys. One more quick thing before I go. I know that in the Philippines... I told you guys I spent $2.50 for this. I know in the Philippines this costs like 10 pesos. This here costs like another 10 pesos. We'll round up and say that that's 20 pesos altogether. So basically, I ended up paying $2 more than I normally would in the Philippines. Yeah, I know, but... You know, I'm a, I'm a strong supporter of, you know, like, you know, people who have their own businesses and stuff like that. You know, they got to make their money. So, hey, man, I'm happy to show my support for, you know, the Philippine Cuisine Store. I think that's pretty cool what they got going on, considering it's the only one that I've seen in town so far, you know, in reference to having Filipino stores and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. So I didn't mind paying whatever they asked for. it. You know, I'm not going to go there every day. So, you know, it all works out for me. So thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. As always, love you guys. Mahokita, mabuhay. See that? Peace.